What is Holo Chain or Hot Token? Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocco here, and in today's video, I'll be talking about Hotcoin. So, in this video, I'll be analyzing the project. I'll be talking about what is Holo Coin, give you guys a summary on what it is, and also, guys, I'll be doing a price prediction of technical analysis of where I see the price going. So guys, I'll introduce by talking in brief what the project is, then I'll give you guys my price analysis of where I see the price going in the short term, and then I'll talk about Holochain in detail. So if you want to watch it, want to get a short introduction, watch the five watch the first five ten minutes of the video, which will give you an introduction to the project and the price of prediction. So let's get into the video. So this is a really good article. I recommend you read it yourself. I've read it a couple of times and I'm not saying I'm an expert in Holo Chain or the fundamentals behind it. I've, I've researched it because I've had few recommendations on Twitter and on YouTube people saying can you analyze Holo Holo Chain. So Holo Chain is a distributed computing network that may perform faster than blockchain technology. So from my understanding they're trying the what they're claiming is something bigger than than blockchain or another company they're trying to they're claiming for infinite scaling capacity through peer-to-peer -peer network so that as distributed applications are added there is no degradation in the performance of the network the hot token is the current unit of cryptocurrency so this is what they're trying to do so they're they're aiming their goal is very very high and what i realized is guys coins that have crazy uh, goals or um future goals or what they're trying to achieve like Ripple, like Tron, when they make massive claims their prices go up quite a lot and Holo or Hotchain have made massive claims. Um, I have looked into a little bit on their team, on their development and how they update on Reddit on medium again they are good i wouldn't say they're anything special i haven't again i haven't done a lot of research on them so i can't recommend just go buy holo chain or hot token um because it is at, uh, initially it is still just an erc20 con uh, token still and they did a an ICO to to dis distribute the coin, so th they are you can't just ex expect it to go to a dollar or ten dollars straight away. So just remember that in mind, guys, and keep uh, uh, keep an eye out for price prediction, because at the end of the day, price prediction is key. So why is Holo Holo Chain seeing so much action? And the main thing is, guys, Holo Chain last year, um, not last year, earlier had a uh, earlier last year had a massive bull uh, move, and it was one of the better performers. I didn't actually get into this trade uh, last year because I just missed it. And when when a coin pumps up that much, it become it, it gets into people's radar. Again, I'll do that price um, analysis in a bit. But I, what I will say now is, if you bought Holo Chain around this level and you're looking for a price to get out my recommendation would be if the price goes below this level and um, let's get uh, deeper into again the chart isn't very uh, neat not very pretty right where I will get out is if the price falls below this level guys I will get out of holo chain because then it could potentially break even lower uh, it will definitely retest this levels again I think it will retest it anyway so you could look to get out now um, but yeah it, it broke down and, and the, the main red signal for me was when it couldn't hold above the 50% level so guys I talked briefly of what holo chain is now I'm trying to to do a technical analysis of what I'm seeing so it broke out to this downward downward trend and if you look at where it bounced from I'm sure there will be a Fibonacci uh, level where it bounced from as you can see it bounced from the 786 level so from a very good level it bounced from it was previous resistance and it broke out I, I wasn't looking at Holo and I didn't get in I did I will tell you where I got in I got in around here guys which wasn't too bad I didn't make too much profit because this jump it didn't hold above the 618 or the 50 percent level so there's massive resistance it moved up it's a fake breakout whenever we see a fake breakout and the price can't hold above those level there's no price acceptance around those level that is a bear bear warning and i I, I wasn't looking at the charts when this happened and I didn't get my exit at the top. I exited around there. So again, I made some profit, but it wasn't amazing profit. And I wasn't trading with a huge order size, so it wasn't a brilliant profit. But yeah, it was an okay profit for me, I suppose. But people that bought here, what were you thinking? Why would you buy something that has just gone up? 
at 288 percent you need to be careful guys buy the pullbacks see buy at the right levels never buy when something jumps up so high and fomo in i i was going to make a video yesterday but i wanted to see where it closed if it could close above the 50 percent around this level then i would have been bullish for holo chain but when it couldn't i knew it wasn't great for holo chain so the short term price prediction from this chart it's not looking very pretty and um, it could it would certainly test this level and if it can get, ha maybe have another leg higher but I see it kind of consolidating and maybe even test these levels as well so that's what we're looking for short term guys I'll keep you guys up updated if you are in really interested in holo chain make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel or tweet me ask me questions I will do another price analysis so I gave you a quick brief on holo chain I did my quick technical analysis now let's talk about the long term price prediction for holo chain so uh, the promise for Holochain to move for, to distributed over decentralized because you know there are issues with decentralization like you see it like you've seen scalability and decentralization and the security achieving all of that is difficult so what Holochain is claiming is massive they're trying to do something beyond blockchain they're making very very big claims um, so for them to achieve that they'll need really really good teams so holochain's big focus is distributing computing over decentralized and there's a good reason for this over 96 percent of enterprises currently use cloud computing and they're not all exclusively cloud-based instead most modern corporation use a cloud hybrid it model where they're using on-site employees or virtual teams so if if they if they can decentralize that it will increase the security startups like dropbox managed to squeeze 1.15 billion annual market share in this space because it was ahead of the curve like drop uh, dropbox holo chain is ahead of the curve in many ways it is at the forefront of blockchain in in fact it claims to be beyond blockchain and their marketing is really good for one thing offering cloud-based storage solution isn't the reason we know what Dropbox is it's not the technology that matters Dropbox aggressively pushed a referral marketing campaign that's still paying dividends to this day so Holo's marketing is I would say is good because you can see we're talking about Holo I'm talking about Holo you guys want to know about Holo so is Holo's promise a Holo promise again the the where it comes is do not get too hyped about this project guys because it's a, what they're trying to achieve is massive you need to be close to the project you need to understand what with Litecoin I was very close to the project I knew people in the team and um, again not core team I knew people that were involved in the community and I knew I was fairly close to the project when you're investing a lot of money into a coin make sure you do your due diligence and watching a video and investing is not the right idea you have to do a lot more because I've only read few articles on holo I can't claim to be an expert it sounds good like a lot of the other coins but they have got a lot to achieve before you can start investing in this coin the major difference uh, between distributed over decentralized computing is in how the blockchain is processed with a decentralized network like ethereum every node has to process the entire chain which presents in its entirety on each node that is why it's so slow it's the same concept used by sidechain or mother child chain networks like eos this means no proof of work or a proof of stake and no mining by removing this process from the traditional blockchain mix holochain believes it created a more efficient blockchain and it might be right look at video cards where crypto mining or vr capable graphics card fetches a high price because very every millisecond matters if a professional gamer is facing an opposition with better equipment they'll have faster response times and she'll likely lose to showcase the utility of the platform holochain already has three apps developed on its testnet a twitter clone that continuously forks ethereum's dao and a kyc whitelist d app it also developed holo which acts as a bridge between blockchain and the rest of the world instead of mining node computers will lend processing over to hosted d apps like these and they will be comp compensated in holo fuel so their ecosystem is quite interesting what they're trying to do but i have heard this before i've read about other uh, cryptocurrencies where they've made similar claims instead everyone tracking everyone's token transaction the host nodes track their own transactions this compensation model 
It's much closer to the traditional employee compensation model used in pretty much every legitimate business around the world. My question would be, does this legitimate, does this kind of have an effect on the security of it? I haven't got the answers to it, but that's one of the questions that raised. So guys, in summary, the whole chain is so ambitious and that's something I've noticed when a project is very ambitious it helps their marketing hopefully they're not just here for marketing they're actually a project and want to achieve it considers itself above and beyond the typical blockchain instead of a decentralized model it uses a distributed blockchain model to create a leaner more efficient network if it succeeds it can become a sleep sleeper hit hit in crypto and we are months away from finding out here are hollow chains key in key strengths and weaknesses holo chain has a strong development team and a community that seems dedicated to the project willing to write solid codes holo chain apps will run efficiently than other blockchain because it removes the tokenization and consensus process to focus purely on smart contracts individual nodes process their own ledgers to build a truly p2p trust ecosystem that could prove to be a better way to blockchain blockchain in the world which is focused on relieving blockchain congestion holo chain is on the right track so as long as the main net holds up to the team's promises it will be a major contender we'll see how well the app ecosystem develops over the year so that's just a quick update guys make sure you do your own research before you buy into holo so it's it and and one thing i, I did do is i looked into their uh, reddit and their twitter pages and they are keeping people up to date which is good but again uh, a lot of people some of the crypto or icos do not have a twitter that updates regularly whereas holo chain does but their community is still uh, small compared to massive massive community so you need to keep that in mind last week we gave some description and color to show how we are approaching identity verification on holo network this is another article that i would recommend you read if you want to invest i'm not going to go through it all it talks about the ecosystem and how it all works so it it, it seems to be a legitimate project like many other Others, but are they going to be able to deliver what they're claiming to be so hopefully guys you enjoyed that video finally let's do a kind of price prediction on a long-term price prediction so currently guys holo chains a hot price is not point not 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 five six so there's three zeros so for them to even get to uh, a cent it would probably take 17 18 times the current price which is a big ask so can they do a 17 18 x we've seen other cryptocurrencies do it we've seen Rayblox and nano have a crazy run we've seen trx ripple we've seen many many coins do crazy runs so it is yes it is absolutely achievable but they'll have to deliver what won't happen is like hype you talk about mainnet and it goes up you talk about our partnership and price just rockets up it, that, that's not going to happen anymore because I, I i'd like to think we have as crypto investors have learned to lesson i don't think we have maybe i'm wrong I, I have definitely learned my lesson and i hope people have learned their lessons as well so people are a lot more savvier with their money so guys um if they deliver and what they're claiming to be yes their market cap can be a lot higher than what it is now but do keep in mind holo chain is in, is in people's radar and and their market cap is already very very or quite high i would say so be careful in that guys um so yeah that's my quick update on holo chain i'd like to ask you now what do you think about holo chain do you think it's a good project do you think it's got more to improve um i'd love to hear your thoughts guys um and and again one thing i would say is do not fomo in uh, do your own research and if, if you are a long-term investor make sure you um make sure you can dollar cost average not just buy at the top uh, buy the dip and look at the price predictions as well if you're trading follow me follow or do your own analysis learn technical analysis and you will hopefully make some money so thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you've enjoyed it um, if you want another update on holochain price prediction or their fundamentals let me know and i'll try my best to do another video so slightly longer video today but i hope you enjoyed it finally just to to recap uh, price prediction wise it's bearish in the short to mid term guys if you want to get out
put your stop loss below or even get out get get out now take some off now because it has dropped a lot um so so yeah but make sure you have your stop loss below these levels if it drops so thank you very much guys i hope you've enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel also guys if you want to win xrp make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much